The news of as of yesterday, Nasser Bouani has been suspended for two months, retrospectively, for his the incident involving him at Chalet Pays de Loire race back in March. Here's the full UCI statement. They announced it on Twitter, but here's the on their website. I'll read it out for those of you listening on podcast players. The UCI announces that its disciplinary commission has rendered its decision regarding the incident involving Oani during the race I just mentioned on 28 March 2021. They hold, they held a hearing on 6th of May. 6th of May, Benji. Six weeks afterwards. By, for context, everybody, in Australia, in the AFL and NRL, you have like a judiciary for like bad illegal hits, like a shoulder charge or a high tackle or something. They decide that within a week. Uh, or the, the, the hearing is very quick. So six weeks, very long. Anyway, continuing on, at which hearing the rider Buani admitted to having deviated from his line remember that phrase in the statement and committed a vi- violation of the UCI regulations doesn't state which regulation Buani has agreed to an imposition of a two-month suspension starting retroactively on 8 April 2021 first of all can you explain how the expansion start suspension starts on 8 April did Buani self-withdraw from races during this period until the final decision had been made? Well, no. The reason that it starts on the 8th of April, I think, is because, well, he rode a race the 7th of April. So uh, they couldn't exactly uh, say, ah, you're you're suspended from the week before. <laughs> well, he raced the races. It's too late. I don't think it's a bit of a farce if you annul his second place at La Rue Torrenchelle. But this means, Benji, he'll be back for the Tour de France. That starts on the 26th of June. His suspension finishes a few weeks before that. I think the, the main question people want to know is two, two months, and he's already served about half of that almost over half of that because it's retroactive. Do I think that's fair? I think that's about correct, to be honest. I think two months is about right. He's missing some races he was going to be doing. If you do a bad move in Lombardia and get a four-month suspension, if you're not doing Tour Down Under or Tour Columbia, you're not missing any racing because you can still train with your team. So it's He's kind of done it in a sticky spot in the season, in the middle of the season. So two months, he almost misses more races than Groenewegen missed. Groenewegen got nine months, but he was injured for the first, the rest of 2020 just about and didn't want to come back to racing. And then Groenewegen, he missed Perry Nice and a couple, some of the Cobble Classics he might have done. Uh, shoulder price maybe and he's into the Giro and I think the Groenewegen move is much worse people I've seen a lot of people saying in the response to the UCI media's tweet Benji this is punishing the outcome not the action and Buani's move was the same as Groenewegen's it's just Stuart was lucky and Buani's lucky the barriers held firm do you agree that it was the same move or do you think Groenewegen's was more serious. I believe the Groenewegen's one was more serious because Groenewegen checked literally under his shoulder and saw that Jakobsen was coming and closed the door. That is also what he actually mentioned afterwards. He said he closed the door. And Buhani, from what I can tell, was on the right side of the road. He did not go and check the left side. He just recklessly endangered the rider on the left side by swinging to the left without caring if someone was there, which is still bad. It's still bad and it should still be suspended, but it's not on the same level for me. And um, I think that's the difference, the uh, the underlying difference for me. And I think that's also the underlying difference to why the UCI perhaps went for more months on Grunewegen than on Wuhan. But this is not a good way of suspending someone doing it based on months because it's solely reliant on when in the season it happens. And then people are going to say, but if... If, for example, someone has that suspension in Lombardia and gets those four months, then the UCI probably thought to themselves, well, they weren't going to ride anyway in those two months, so we're going to add a few mon- more months to that. But if you start playing with the amount of months like that, just because you're trying to fit it across the season, then then there's an issue for me. And I think that there's so many other ways that it could be done, but going through those other ways, I haven't found a single one without any backlash to it let's say one says okay it's x amount of races well i if i'm the team manager of a rider that's suspended for 10 races i'm planning him to ride the first 10 races of the season that he wasn't going to go to anyway and then i'll i'll have him unsuspended yeah, by the exactly. time he's going to go to the races that he's actually going to get going to look at pascal ackerman's move in shelter price he's come from behind the wheel swung across no regard for anyone behind him smashed august jensen's front wheel 
Bora Hansgrohe, even after he got disqualified, were like, what do we do wrong? How, why did you yeah, disqualify him off. afterwards? <laughs> yeah, and everyone was like, are you kidding? He just chopped that rider so badly. And we were like, again, at the time, we were like, well, what rule has he been, has he been done for endangerment? But he didn't get a suspension, Ackerman. We saw Cavendish and decline at Tour of Turkey. We've seen... Bauhaus pinching Christoph into the barrier at Paris Nice. There was a lot of headbutting, elbowing at Paris Nice, Laporte and Damar and Co. And a lot of it goes unpunished. I think Buani has a reputation. That's partly why this blew up so much on social media and then got referred to the disciplinary commission. I personally thought Ackerman's move was much worse and no punishment. Now, maybe UCI are drawing a line in the sand. They're saying, if you do this, you know, there's no behavior, no place for this behavior in modern cycling. The problem is, Benji, going back to those lines that I told you to remember, they said he admitted to deviating from his line and committing a violation of the UCI regulations. And I said to the, I replied to their tweet, I said, the UCI statement refers to the breach of these regulations through Buani deviating from his line, but it doesn't specify the relevant provision. Could you please confirm which one he was sanctioned under? Was it 2.3.036, which says when you have launched your sprint, if you deviate from your line when launching your sprint and endanger another rider, then you can be sanctioned. So three-step test. Has Buani deviated from whatever line he was on? Yes. Did he endanger Stuart? Yes. Was Had he launched his sprint? Now, a lot of people think you haven't launched your sprint until you have clear air. He, if you're still drafting behind wheels, remember he was trying to follow, was it Viviani or Cofidis rider on the left-hand side, Benji? Viviani. If you're trying to follow a rider and draft them, have you launched your sprint? Are you in the middle of the sprint finish? It's not clear. The rules don't say. I think that it does muddy it a bit because I'm 99% sure at this point that they probably – just were like, oh, he said he deviated. Okay, then we're just going to be agree on <laughs> yeah. two months here. Like, they're not going to answer to your tweet because, like, it's obviously got something behind it that they know that the rule they have is is not is too vague. It comes up so much. Purpose. Exactly, and there's so many plot holes to the rules and so forth that at this point, it's it's funny how how they're not looking into their sprint rules a bit more. Let us know what you think about the Nasser Duwani suspension. Two months seems about right, to be honest, in a vacuum. Other riders have done worse, not been suspended. Other riders, people maybe think Corona Vegas the same, got nine months. I think it's about right in a flawed system. So it's as right as it can be in a yeah. flawed system. He'll be there at the Tour de France. So does he really, really care? Well, he's got the Tour de France on his PCS uh, arcade oh, okay. going, and yeah, but he also had he also had uh, well races in the next month, so on there. So I don't the Tour de France is on the twenty sixth of June, so I think he'll be there. He's their prime sprinter. Yeah, he's true. their best chance of a stage, most likely. Nah, uh, Nairo in green. Okay, that's enough. Well, Benji's obviously trolling <laughs> at the moment, and we'll see you. Uh, we'll move on now to the next topic. Ciao.